Okay, hi year 12. Um, I'm going to do in this video question two of the unit six end of topic test, which is a six mark question uh, and a few stages involved. You need to calculate the empirical and molecular formula of a hydrocarbon. And you need to suggest two possible structures for the hydrocarbon. People tend to struggle with deducing structures of things. Um, so let's have a look uh, and go through. And then finally, the reason why there's so much waiting to this question is name the type of reaction taking place when bromine reacts with the hydrocarbon. So actually not a massive space to do this. Uh, so I will try and be, you would get more space than this, but anyway. There's a lot to this question. So the first thing to know is it's important to, oh, for goodness sake, is that still working? Close. Is that still going? Yes, it is, my battery's low. Um, is to set it out really well. So I'm gonna use some bullet points, I'm gonna use some numbering actually. I'm gonna say one um, empirical formula. So uh, this, I'm not gonna be able to set this out quite uh, as I usually would. Uh, maybe I'll do some paper. Mm. No, right. Uh, okay, so we've got 87.8% is carbon. So I'm going to divide that by 12. And that's going to give 7.8 divided by 12 gives you 7.3% carbon. Uh, and then where are we? Hydrogen. So we've got... 100 minus 87.8 is 12.2 so 12.2 divided by 1 which obviously is the MR of hydrogen equals 12.2 we're then going to divide those numbers by the smallest number giving you a ratio of 1 to 1.7 okay so we're then going to need to multiply these numbers by something to give us whole numbers. I can see that times two isn't going to work with that, but I'm going to try times three. Uh, and yeah, that gives me uh, 5.01, which is basically five. Uh, so if I times three times three equals three equals five. So my empirical formula equals C. Uh, will I say C3H5 and now I need to work out the molecular formula so I can do that because I've been told that the MR of the compound is 82 so if I work out the MR of the empirical formula so 12 times 3 plus 5 is 41 so I can see obviously that 41 goes into 82 twice. The molecular formula is going to be twice as much as the empirical. So that's going to be C6H10. Okay, so that's my empirical formula done. That's the molecular formula done. Now I'm going to suggest two possible structures for the hydrocarbon. Now, if I had, you need to remember your general formulas here. Um, an alkene has the general formula, obviously, CnH2n which would mean we would have C6H12. We've got C6H10. That must mean that our structure is cyclic, okay? And that it, it's um, unsaturated. So first thing I'm gonna do for C6H10, I'm gonna put here three structures. I'm gonna go with the most basic one. I'm gonna do a six carbon ring Currently, um, that would have, so each one of these carbons would have a hydrogen on. So that would have obviously 12 hydrogens around it and we've got 10. So if I put a double bond in there, that then means we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, what did I say, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that works. Then we need um, another possible structure. And again, I'm just going to keep it as simple as possible. I've got my six carbon ring. I'm going to go to <clears throat> a five carbon ring with a methyl group attached. 
Okay, so that's CH3. Uh, I'm going to need a double bond in there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, where am I missing one? Oh, mm, ten. Okay, and then finally, uh, reaction with bromine water is an addition reaction, uh, specifically electrophilic. And that's it.